I finally made it to California. So I saw my preferred care provider, told him my medical condition and what I've been struggling with, and he ordered some fasting blood work to test the morning cortisol. And it's supposed to be between five and 25, mine is 0 0.3. So um, when he saw that, he freaked out, <laughs> as they usually do. So he um, sent a referral over to Cedars Sinai Stat, which means immediately, see me immediately. Of course, we had Christmas and New Year's and all of that. So people were off work and it was kind of difficult to schedule, but I'm going to see them tomorrow. This is going to be in a good two and a half hour, three hour drive. But I have a cousin who lives out here and he's going to be helping me, taking me down there. So I'm very grateful for that. And I'm grateful to finally get into a facility that should know <laughs> what to do with my rare medical condition when you have to take steroids to stay alive and you're allergic to them. So we'll see what happens. I mean, we've tried all of the steroids that I know about, but of course I'm not medically trained. So we'll see if they can come up with something new that my body can agree with. <laughs> but it was quite an experience coming out here since I don't make antidiuretic hormone and I can't balance my electrolytes. I've been told never to drink plain water. Of course, that's kind of easier said than done at certain times. And driving across the desert when I'm trying to watch my sugar intake and I don't like um, carbonated beverages, my choices were rather limited. So I did drink too much water and my electrolytes got very depleted. So I ended up with pulmonary edema. And what a doctor explained to me was is these cells that don't have enough sodium and um, potassium and all these other electrolytes, they swell. And when these cells swell in your lungs, it doesn't give the little air sacs enough room to fill with air and expand because <laughs> there's just not enough room with all that, that swelling going on and stuff. So that took almost Oh, two or three weeks to resolve to where I could breathe better again. But I am breathing better now. And one of the problems I've been having with breathing is the dexamethasone. That's the steroid they've been giving me for my adrenal insufficiency. Hydrocortisone causes anaphylaxis. Prednisone gives me severe psychosis, really bad. And uh, Kenalog makes me break out in a rash. But the dexamethasone gives me dangerously high blood pressure. And one of the problems with the dexamethasone is it makes it difficult to breathe. Uh, there was a day in October where I fainted three different times because my blood pressure was so low. This is what happens with adrenal insufficiency when it's not treated with steroids. And of course I couldn't take them. So I was trying to not poison myself or give myself such high blood pressure that I ended up with a heart attack or a stroke from that. So it's a very fine line. And uh, living between that rock and a hard place, oh my goodness, it's getting even tighter. It's a very small space, so it's been very difficult. But I'm hoping that tomorrow, fingers crossed, that there will be a new steroid that my body can tolerate, that I will be able to get my life back. So fingers crossed. Thank you very much for all of your help.